If you want your hub to be found, it's best to give it a title which will encourage favorable placement in search results. This can be done by giving your hub a title that matches the search term someone would utilize when seeking to read about your hub's topic. When thinking of titles for your hub, then, think in terms of searches. Instead of titling a hub on fancy dog houses, illustrious canine abodes, consider more common terms, such as luxury dog houses and custom dog houses. If you'd like to test titles for a certain subject, you can turn to the Google AdWords Keyword Tool. To do so, type Google Keyword Tool into a search engine, click on the result that reads Keyword Tool Google AdWords Online Advertising by Google, enter in whatever CAPTCHA you are required to transcribe, and now you're ready to test out any potential titles you've formulated. Write each title into the word or phrase box at the top left corner of the page, hitting Return before entering a new title. When you're finished entering potential titles, click the search button. The results will be a mixture of potential titles you've entered, along with related searches of note. Before you start analyzing these results, scroll down and check the Exact box under the Match Types header. This will ensure that your results you're looking at are for exact searches. Next, take a look at the results. If some of the results do not pertain to your hub subject matter, you can filter these results by selecting one of the categories at the right side of the page. Before you start analyzing the results in greater depth, it may help you to focus on only a couple of aspects. We can do this by editing the columns we see. First, click the Columns button at the top right corner of your results. Uncheck the boxes for Competition, Local Monthly Searches, and Local Search Trends. Then, click the Estimated Average CPC box. Click OK. The Global Monthly Searches column reveals the number of times a particular keyword is searched for in a given month globally. The Estimated Average CPC box shows you an approximation of the cost per click for each keyword. These are the most important numbers to consider when selecting titles for this tool. You may therefore want to scroll down the list of results and identify the top five keywords or phrases in Global Search Volume and Average Estimated CPC which you can then investigate further. To sort results by a particular column, click at the top of the column. This will put the highest volumes for that column at the top. Once you have identified some terms with high global monthly search volume and high estimated average CPC, you would then benefit from checking the number of search results competing for the searcher's attention. You can do so by clicking on the hyperlinked terms, which will open the search in a new tab. The ideal title will have a great number of global monthly searches and a high estimated average CPC, but relatively few search results. A good rule of thumb is that you would like a keyword to be searched for no less than 500 times a month, but no more than 40,000. If a keyword is searched for too many times in a month, it is probably too difficult to rank on the first page of Google. Once you have found the best keyword for your title, we advise that you capitalize each word to give it a more polished look. You may also wish to add one or two conjunctions or prepositions to make it look more like a title and less like a messy search term. But don't deviate too far from the original keyword idea you found to be most attractive. In addition, you may consider tagging a short addendum to your title that may make it more attractive to searchers. An example of a useful addendum is a step-by-step -step visual guide. As a final note, keep in mind that the results you are searching for might also be utilized within subtitles and the text of your hub. Even if you do not end up using a certain term in your title, you might want to include it within your text, as it has proven to be a valuable keyword.